uh, highly accurate protein structure prediction with alpha tool. The author are John, John Jumper and Ali. This paper was, pre, uh, was published on Nature this July. So I'll first uh, introduce the alpha fold. What is alpha fold? Then I will talk about the background of their uh, protein structure prediction problem. And then I will talk about the technical details of the alpha fold network. Then I will talk, uh, discuss about the experimentation and the results of the alpha fold network. And finally, I will draw a conclusion of the alpha fold of this paper. Okay, so first, alpha fold is a protein structure prediction model. Uh, it is a novel deep learning model from uh, using attention. Uh, it has a attention based on your network. So it takes uh, amino acid sequences as input and it can predict a three dimensional uh, protein structure. Uh, it can incorporate physical and uh, biological knowledge to uh, predict uh, more accurate results and uh, incorporate this uh, physical and the biological knowledge can uh, can uh, can can induce more constraints on the structure so 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 the predicted results can be more physically realistic and uh, follow the biolo biological knowledge so the background of this uh, protein structure prediction is that uh, pre protein, first proteins are very essential to human life. And uh, if we can understand their structure, so we can facilitate uh, a mechanistic uh, understanding of their function. So even though there, are, there have been already about 200,000 different proteins uh, have been discovered by experiment. Uh, but uh, uh, in the real world, the, in the real world, there is a billions of known proteins that we don't know their structure. So we need uh, some accurate computational approaches to address this gap between the uh, uh, known experiments, known structures and the uh, and, uh, unknown structures. So predicting this uh, three, three dimensional protein structure only depends on the amino acid sequence. And uh, there are two kinds of methods to uh, predict the 3D protein structure. Uh, in previously, first is physical interactions, and uh, the other one is evolutional theory history. So first, the physical interactions. It is it is a theoretically very appealing uh, method, but uh, there are very uh, very major issues related to it. Is the the simulation of the physical interaction is very computational complex. Uh, it can consume a lot, of, a lot of computational resources. And the second one is the evolutional history. So this one is a more uh, data-based uh, method. It uses uh, constraints derived from bioinformatics analysis. And uh, and it ben it is benefited from PDB, which is the protein data bank. Is this is a a huge pro this is a huge data set uh, storing the protein structures and uh, uh, corresponding amino acid sequences. So. <clears throat> So next, we will talk about the alpha fold network the technical technical details. So um, 
This is a novel neural network, neural network model. It is based on evolutionary, physical, and geometric constraints. This uses uh, amino acids, acid sequences and uh, aligned sequences of homologous as input. Uh, this network, uh, the whole network can be uh, considered in uh, two stage. The first one, the first stage, uh, it precise the input sequences. There are two kinds of uh, representations, the MSA, the multiple sequence line alignments and uh, representations and uh, residue pairs representations. So there is a, there is an, uh, how to say it, a convolutional network, uh, not convolutional, it is, there is a attention based on, and non-attention based uh, uh, components called the uh, evil former. It can precise this uh, MSC representation, representation and uh, pair representations. And uh, we will discuss about this for former, former later. And the second step is the structure module. So um, it takes the the representations, the MSA representation and the peer representation from the evil former block and uh, as input and it can output the 3D protein structure. So the main blocks in this structure module are transformers. So the transformer in this can allow the implicit reason between the between the atoms in the amino acid, acid sequences. So here we'll talk about the more detailed the technique uh, details about the former. So the figure below, the figure A, shows the detailed uh, blocks in the evil former. It has 48 blocks. So there are attention-based and uh, non-attention-based blocks. It allows the information exchange between the MSA representation and the pair representation. It can enable the direct reasoning between the spatial and the evolutionary relationship of the, uh, of the protein. It can view the prediction of the structure as a graph inference problem in 3D, where the edges of the graph are the proximity of residues. And uh, in this in this figure, it shows the uh, detailed pair representation and the, and the edges, corresponding edges, and uh, so the element of the pair representation shows the relationship between between different residues, and the column for the MSA representation. Each column shows the individual residue of the input sequence. And the row of the MSA representation shows the, shows the sequence where the, the individual residues appear. So here we talk about the details about the structure module, the second step of the, of the network. So this, uh, this structure module operates on the 3D backbone structure using the peer representation and the, the single MSA representation from uh, precise from the EVA former. 
So the 3D structure is represented as our independent rotations and the translations on each residue. So these rotations and translations can prioritize the orientation of the protein backbone. So the location of each residue is highly constrained. So in this figure, you can see on the uh, right top. So this can this shows a predict a predicted protein structure. Uh, each dot can be considered as a residue. So so this structure module operates on these residues to rotate and translate to form this uh, to form the final uh, protein structure. So to uh, to assess this uh, of all network, there is a, uh, so there is a gold standard blind test assessment to. Uh, to test uh, the how good how good um, prediction prediction model is. So this is called the CSP fourteen. It is the fourteenth critical assessment of the protein structure prediction. So on the right, the figure A shows the the median backbone accuracy. So this accuracy of the alpha fold is uh, 0.69 or 0 0.96. So this, this should be as small, uh, the more smaller, the, the better the model is, since uh, it shows the 95% conf confidence interval between the, of the result. And you can find that the next best the median backbone accuracy of the next best is 2.8. And they also show some qualitative results. The first one, the, the first one they mentioned, they, they say that uh, they can predict a high, predict a highly accurate domain structure. The green one, the green structure is the if B is the uh, accurate, the the accurate uh, protein structure generated from the simulation, and the blue structure is the predicted structure from alpha fold. And in Figure C, it can predict a high accuracy chains. Also, the green ones are still the. Uh, ground truth, authentic, authentic structures from simulations, and uh, blue ones are the predicted structures from alpha fold. And uh, from figure D, it can predict a very long protein uh, with uh, more than 2000 residues. Also the green structure is the one truth and the blue is the predicted structure. So in conclusion, this alpha fold is a novel protein prediction uh, deep learning model combining both uh, bioinformatics and the physical approaches benefited from this protein data bank. Also it can output protein coordinates directly to form this protein structure. Thank you. Uh, is there any questions?